You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for Royal Place Sand. I'm not sure if you've seen this one out there. This was at five below, ages five plus. Use your imagination to sculpt, mold, and play. Easy cleanup, molds easily, easy to sculpt, fun to create. Now we're taking a look at it because we've tried a lot of different sand products, and this one here, we'll know right away. So all the different warnings there. Okay, so this one is made in China. So I'm going to tell you right now, it's probably going to have a certain smell to it. Oops, I hit my bowl. I have a glass top down on my counter here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's got a muted kind of grayish, not really sandy looking. This one's pretty hard. Move it around a little bit so I can cut the top of the bag off easily. Then I'll just dump it out on my surface here and we'll do some tests. We've tested a lot of sand in the channel, so anytime we see one, we grab it because we want to know what it's like. And I had some stuff on my hands from another video, and now it's cleaned up. There we go. So it is very coarse. It's not as smooth feeling. Right away I could tell. Just by touching it, it's not as smooth. But let me break it up a little bit more. Maybe it needs a little play time. Let me give it a quick sniff. Hmm. Not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting more of a chemical smell. that. Let me back away just a little so I can mold and shape. It seems to hold really well. That's a pretty nice solid sand ball. More solid than what we normally see with sands. Let's chop it here. We've chopped a lot of sands you get that grainy chopping sound. Let's see. That's good. You hear that? Let's pretend like we're making a meal here. Let's make a meal. Okay, here is my, I'll make a hamburger bun. Here's my hamburger bun. The bottom of my hamburger is this piece here, this is my bun. Okay, sad looking bun. Now I'm going to make a burger patty. Make a nice healthy burger patty. I'm just kind of molding it here. Let's get a little more playroom in here, huh? So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here's my flat burger patty. Okay. And then my bun. I'm not going to put any lettuce on there. Straight meat. Okay. There's my triple decker. Here we're going to cut it now. Nice cut. Will this mold good? I'm going to say it's going to mold really good. Now I'm not going to compare this to the other sands in this video. Why? Because we'll probably get more of these sands that are coming out more and more and we'll compare them a little bit later. This is not a comparison video. This is checking this particular sand out. Then it, it'll come back later in a comparison. Let's see if we get that nice breaking down effect. It's okay. Not as good as the other sands we've seen. Usually you can make a nice lump and then, you know, after a little bit of nurturing, it'll fall apart. I almost want to say this one seems like it doesn't want to move as much. Almost like there's more polymer or whatever they put in there. I'm not sure. That's making it pack tighter and also not move the same. So it doesn't have that moving feeling to it. So if you want something that really packs tight, this one seems to do it. Look at that. 
See that? Let me make a couple here. Here, let me make a snowman. Make me a snowman. Some of those other sands, it's hard to stack snowballs like this because they fall apart. That's too big. There's the top. There. They give them some eyes. Out of sand, of course. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, you can make some nice pointy out here. We'll make that his nose. That looks more like a nose. Then we'll roll up some little eyes. Okay, harder to pack the smaller ones. Little triangle eyes. There's one. You're doing a great job. Just stay. Oh, look, he's falling apart here. Maybe all the pressure has gotten to him. He's starting to break down. Give me a little belly button. There, right, we're going to give you an Audi. I don't think we're going to be able to give him any kind of arm, but let's see. Can't be too thin, but... There you go. Let's get back together. Oh, oh, sorry. We lost an arm. How's that look? It looks like we should just chop him in half. Yes, I agree. That's a nice slice. Look at the slice side here. Look how nice and even that is. Let's slice him this way. Oh, there's some satisfaction in that. I don't know what it is. There's just some satisfaction in slicing. I think I want to do one more thing here. I want to make a nice flat. I'm going to say out of all the sands I've tried so far, this one seems to be the tightest packing, best hold together sand. So it's different than the other ones. I think we gotta wet it though. I'm gonna bring in some water after I get this chopped up here. And I wanna clear this up a little bit. Move this out of here. Try to make a nice square or rectangle here. I wanna see how thin I can chop. It's a nice block. See if we can get that, that feeling of chopping. Here we go. I'm gonna try to do it as thin as I can. Okay, I'm gonna go even thinner than that. That's pretty thin, huh? Okay, this will be the thinnest one. See if it can handle it. Look at how thin that is. You can build a little block castle now easily with this. If you cut it better than I did.
Well, I need to get some water. So there's not much action going on. I will be right back. It might move. It might change. I'm not sure. So I will be right back. Okay. Not sure how much that shifted or not. So let's see. And let's put a block in. It doesn't break down. I still got some stuff on. Oh, here, I'll get it off. There. If that was bothering you, that little yellow spot, I'm sorry. Okay, now that it's wet, it's definitely now breaking down. Will it ever be the sand it was? I don't think so. It would be days before I... Or I can air dry it in a fan. I don't know. Maybe I'll update in the comments if I get a chance to do that. But I think at this point, it is history. But they don't recommend doing this. We're just testing it. So overall, I was a little skeptical at first on this sand being the Made in China version. Doesn't smell bad. And... If you want a sand that really packs hard and cuts, then this might be the one for you. Now it doesn't move like a lot of the other sands and have that same doughy consistency. So it might be something you're looking for in a sand. And thanks for watching. If you want to do if you want to see all those other videos of different sands and sand comparisons, look at the description. There'll be a playlist there. Or as always, you can search our channel. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.